this new shave today. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. So we're going to be doing some stuff from the advent calendar. Yeah, so let's get straight right into it. So first off, the eraser we're going with, we're going with my Rex Envoy, Rex Supply Company Envoy Razor. Yeah, y'all see that? Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's what we're going with. We're going with. DE Blade, we're going to be using this, something I haven't used in a while, so I'm like, well, we'll try and bust that out. Gillette Nossets. I know everybody loves these, so we'll give them a go. I haven't used them in a long time, so I got three left in there. Let's see, pull one out. Do, 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 do. All right, we got that outside. Nossit. How you guys doing today? You guys doing pretty good? Yeah, doing stuff from the advent calendar. And I'm skipping around because Christmas is over, 12 days of Christmas and all that. So, I'm not going to go right in order. I'm going to go in the row of the way I want to do it. My shave, I'll do it my way. Get that loaded up in there. Gillette. Gillette Nasset. You guys got them Nasset blades in there? Alright. Yeah, that, oh that handle is amazing. Like, you could literally file wood with that handle. Like on the Envoy, the Ambassador, gold one they got. Gotta be careful with it though, because it's real slippery. So I'm using the towel. Because I've done it before. I'm trying to tighten it down. Oh! Cut my finger. Yeah, so. You gotta be careful. Alright. Now, what are we gonna do next? Okay, brush we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using my Yaki Target Shot. What's to call it? 24 millimeter travel brush. Marpat handle. Very, very cool looking. That's what we're going with. Soap we're going with today. We're going with, this is from the advent calendar, day 14, wait, day 4, 17th, 12 days of Christmas, but they wouldn't order. Tokyo Rose. That is what we are using. Tokyo Rose. Rose, what we're going, we don't need. Rose. Just kidding. And you can see the splash, you can see better. Yeah, there we go, because it's focusing on me. Very, very cool. It's, I got a lot to say. Oh, I get, I get the rose. It pops up to me as a frick, the rose first. So, comes with these, these. And if you guys can see, like on all of the papers that Doug puts with it, it's got a picture in the back. So the picture in the back of this one is Tokyo Rose. And like on the uh, Old Salty, it's got Old Salty. So if you guys can actually see that. If you want to see that, yeah. So, sample file. Rose, cherry, ambergris, sandalwood, oud. Amorous and cardamom. Tokyo Rose was the official scent of the Big Shave, Big Shave West 3. Truly something both the event and official soap and splash. Being held in Pasadena, California, it seemed only logical that Rose to be the accord. But then there was that Cherry Blossom Festival that was held the same month as our humble little shave event. Maybe I was trying to be, maybe I was trying to lure some attendees or our way. I can't read. <clears throat> I can't recall my motivation at the time, but the result of this fateful combination was certainly memorable. Tack on sandalwood, ambergris, oud, emerus, and cardamom, and suddenly you get almost cola note. <laughs> then comes this nostalgic wave of, dare I say, cherry coke? Tokyo Rose is truly a gem, a lost gem in the world of long lost shave since. Enjoy this scent and Merry Holiday Cheer. So that's what that says. Now, I actually got, okay, this came from, when John Frum first came out, they were giving these Lucky Wood Nickels away. So I posted one of these on the um, Phoenix Shaving Group, Fans by Fans, and I actually got sent this from Brett, I got your right name written down, Brent Jacobson. This was from the Big Shave 3. So he had a bunch of bunch of them and he uh, sent me one. So yeah, that's what's in the thumbnail and stuff too. So very, very cool. I only have two wooden nickels. I don't know if there's any more in the world. It probably is, but Brent sent me this and <laughs> it says, Chris, hope you enjoy this. It is from Big Shave, Big Shave West 3. I remember leaving the leaving that day and Fran asking me if I wanted a few more as they had some left over. Brent. Very, very cool. So Fitting with the soap and everything, so that actually was from Big Shave 3. So, a little bit about Tokyo Rose. You're like, who the hell is Tokyo Rose? What does that mean? What's the story behind it? Well, I did a little bit of research on her. Yeah, if you want to, like, do your own research, I'm just going to say a little bit because I'm not going to be... 
history lesson and blah 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 just a little bit about what i know about her there's a lot more but this is just a little small segment about her so a couple things about tokyo rose her real name was actually iva toguri the soldiers gave her the name tokyo rose she was the host of a japanese radio show her segment of the zero hour was called music for you she played music for the troops and stuff and then talk about talk to them and everything she was born in la and raised fully american in July 1941, she traveled to Japan to visit a sick relative. She tried to return, but her passport application was delayed. And at that time, Pearl Harbor just got bombed. Japan and uh, the United States were at war, so she couldn't go back even if she wanted to. So uh, she was stuck. She was stuck in Japan. Japan wanted her to renounce her American citizenship, but she refused. She was accused of treason in 1948 and brought back to the U.S. She was sentenced to 10 years in prison and spent six, six years and two months till she was paroled in 19, January 1956. On January 19, 1977, President Gerald Ford formally and unconditionally pardoned Iva, Iva Togori, restoring her citizenship, which had, which had been stripped away from her upon her conviction. There's more stuff on her, like in 2000 and stuff. Like There's a lot more you got research on your own to find out if you want to know more of the story about this so i'm gonna get this scooped up in the bowl lap it up and bada be right back all right back. yeah i got about seven or eight days worth of growth i think it was last friday yeah whatever hey saturday so our shaverage for today we're drinking mountain dew spark raspberry lemonade <laughs> whatever bye man i'm just kidding no i think i've tried every single mountain dew flavor there is out there all right, so we got this all lathered up. Ooh. Yeah, now when I smell it off the puck, the rose hits me right away. When you lather it, you get the rose, and then you get that cherry scent. Like, while you're lathering it, it does. It's like smells, It does. smells like freaking cherry Coke. It's awesome. So, all right. Let's get watered up. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of growth today. Appreciate we're going to be using today. We're using something probably going to come out on Valentine's Day. Uh, coming up. 14th, or before that. But it's my Phoenix Arson Accushion PA Chocolate Cube. What? Yeah, this comes out around Valentine's Day. So I thought rose, cherry, chocolate, fitting. So, this isn't available right now. I believe it'll come out in next month, February, for Valentine's Day. So... Smells like chocolate. Like if this was a if this was like a big Hershey chocolate, I would be like, because it smells just like that. It smells so good. Oh, rub that chocolate goodness in there. Cool. <laughs> that cube is so slick. Just gets right. Yeah, right on your it's just slick. That cube, man. Whew. That cube. Alright, so we're all lathered up. Tokyo Rose. Iva Toguri. Yeah. Yeah, a radio, Japanese radio broadcast called The Zero Hour. And hers was called... Hey, music for you. Yeah. She'd entertain the troops, play music, say quirky, funny stuff. She was cool. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Seven or eight days worth of growth. Growth. Man, I made a lot of freaking lather. <laughs> I mean, from that little tiny sample, I just did a little bit. Barely like an almond size. 
But yeah, this smells good. And also, this is the last day. Doug's discontinuing some stuff, part one. The calling. I think today, I think today or tomorrow is the last day. You got one more day. With black bots going away, obliettes going away, uh, big shave. 2019, 2020, wild signal, strange island. And there's one more. First night on planet Earth. Never tried first night, but I bought that one. I have all the other ones. I have all the other sets. Um, the wow signal and um, Stranger I don't have the samples of those, but all the rest I have sets. And yeah, I ordered some more of that stuff. Cause yeah, black butt, obliette, the big shaves. Yeah, those are so good. So anyway, here we go. Pass number one, making the mess. Yeah, yeah. Just let not said, Rex on boy. What hair? <laughs> Gone. Man, that's efficient. Smooth, but efficient. See the hair come out, right? Yeah, okay. Gone. Yeah, nice. I haven't used these nice in a while. I know everybody loves them. <laughs> oh, I smell the chocolate cube. A rose. That smells good. Chocolate and roses. Guns and roses? No, chocolate and roses. Love Bombs is coming back too, I think. February. Yeah. Oh, a little bit. Ah, oh, didn't have enough water. Good job, Chris. Get the water in there a little bit. Never had enough water, do I? No, I don't. Talking to us or the camera? <laughs> ah, man, that smells good. Do you guys have this one? Like the set from a long time ago or from the advent calendar? It smells really good. Big Shave Swiss 3. Oh, that's another one that's going away is Big Shave Swiss 4. Yeah, that's a good one too. The Big Shave East. That's what that one's called. Frag and Penny. What if all this stuff's going away? You know Doug's got a plan. Plus it only says part one. So part two should come soon too, right? Flip. Try and not cut the throat today. Sweeney Todd. Okay. Number one. Oh, wow. Opened up something right there. Looks like a zit. That's a weeper. That's a zit. Gross. Yep. That is my most hair. Almost hair right there. It's real rough. So, yeah.
All right, do two pairs of cheeks. There you go. There. Couple of weepers there. That's a that nasty. It's pretty, pretty efficient blade. I know a lot of people like it. It's not one of my favorite ones though, but. Couple weepers here. That's it. That's one there. Clean up your back. Clean up and be right back. Okay, I'm back. Very close, very efficient. Just not a big fan of that Nasset blade. But yeah, a lot of people love them. Your mileage may vary. Um, cleaned up all right. I just used cold water, but. But. Ew. I see one there. Then there was a couple there, but they kind of went away. Cold water's all used, so. My stick, stick, stick. <laughs> Still got some use out of that. Although I do have a brand new one. But I still keep using another one. Anyway, so, Allen Block, cold water. Oh, yeah, that was very close. Very efficient. Oof. Aloom. Aloom. How you doing? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I can still smell that rose. It smells good. Does when you're lathering it, you get the uh, um, coke. It does smell like cherry coke. All right, let's do forehead too, because it is good for your skin. If you're acne prone, that one's really good. And I get really oily skin, so yeah. That drive. All right. Oh, I got water on it. No. Don't keep your coins in the bathroom. That'll dry up. But damn it. Okay. Aftershave we're using today. We're going matching aftershave and cologne. Tokyo Rose Big Shave 3. Yeah. See how this smells. Rose forward. All right. 
a little bit because they're small bottles. Oh, yeah, Coca-Cola. Cherry Coke. We're using more. I like. <laughs> yeah. Rose. Cherry. Oh, that smells good. Damn, that smells good. Oh, awesome. Very, very awesome. Damn good shape. Tip that off so I don't knock it over. Duh, Chris. Butterfinger. Oh, that smells good. And no one, I won, I now know. Give me a second. I now know why everybody wanted Doug to bring that back. Because that's, that's a banger of a scent. Shavers for today. I am CDB. Shave Talk, episode number seven, Katie's Bubbles. No, episode number three, Katie's Bubbles. I think that was last night on the, his live on Instagram. Anyways, shave of the day. Oh, yeah. Good. Zit. Weeper gone. Weeper gone. Weeper gone. It's good. It cleaned up good. The Gillette, the Nostat's really sharp, so. Anyway, recap what we... Damn, that smells so good. Oh, lost gem. Recap of what we used today. We used Phoenix Earth, Kitch Me, Crown King, Tokyo Rose, Big Shave Swiss, three. Very, very, very good scent. P. Allen Block. Yuck, your target shot. <laughs> shot in the nuts with a flag on the day. <laughs> the Marpot pattern. Hoorah. We also used Rex Envoy. Gillette Nasset. First use. Yeah, they're not bleeding. They're good. Cool. That's it. Also from Brent Jacobson. Then the thumbnail too on the little guy I got up there. Big Chase with a three. Yeah, that'll go away. That's just got water on it. Lucky wooden nickel. Set that flat and it'll be all right. What else did we use, Chris? Shave Ridge. Oh, yeah. The Chris. Thanks, Argus and Kushman. Appreciate shave. Chocolate Cube should be out this Valentine's Day for all you sweethearts. <laughs> and start the show. Phoenix Earth and Accoutrements Tokyo Rose Artesian Shave Soap. Very good. Very. Oh, I love this. This smells good. You can see that, how much I actually scooped out right there. I didn't take out much, so it made a really, really good lather. Yeah, very awesome scent. So, that's the shave of the day, ladies and gents. Um, did I miss anything? I miss anything. Forgot Full Jones. <laughs> Hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week, good shaves, more to come. And yeah, I got a lot more to come. That heavy color has got 12 sets in it. So that's 12 weeks worth of shaves. So I got other stuff too that I want to mix in there. But yeah, we'll get through this calendar. It'll probably be next Christmas by the time we do get through the calendar. <laughs> Just kidding. So hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week, good shaves, more to come. And yeah, see you ladies and gents soon.